Uh, this is the BY1 paper from January 2013. It's question number five, and um, this is on uh, DNA. Okay. Um, you've got a lovely diagram there of the uh, structure of DNA, or a partial structure of it, anyway. Um, note the anti parallel nature of the, uh, the strands. Okay. One strand, which I've just arrowed there, is pointing upwards. And over on the right hand side there, the, the other strand now is pointing downwards, so you can see the sugar molecules are upside down. Um, it's clearly showing uh, the hydrogen bonds there between the bases. It's labelled thymine, it's labelled cytosine for you. Okay. Okay, so that's just a, a little bit about the diagram that the examiner has drawn there for you. Um, part A then is asking you uh, to name part A. Um, so in the diagram that is uh, pointing to uh, the sugar component of DNA, but uh, to put sugar as an answer would be uh, very incorrect um, uh, here. Um, DNA has got a particular type of sugar, of course, and um, that sugar is deoxyribose sugar. Um, the examiner would have allowed pentose sugar, but um, I still think deoxyribose is better because RNA also has a pentose sugar, but that's different. That's ribose sugar. Okay, so I think the uh, the best answer there um, is deoxyribose. Okay, moving on then. Uh, part B. Part of a DNA molecule has the following uh, sequence of bases. T-A-T-C-G. So in the table below, write the letters for the sequence of bases of the complementary portion of DNA. Um, so the uh, a good way to remember the, uh, the base pairing rule here, um, particularly when we're looking at uh, adenine and thymine, if I just write here A and T, uh, they obviously stand for adenine and thymine. Uh, but they spell out the word at. Okay, so that's how I remember that adenine and thymine base pair together. So wherever you, uh, you can see here T is the first um, base in the uh, table. Okay, so uh, the answer there uh, would be A. Now the next one, we've got A, so that's got to be T. The third one is T, so that's got to be A. Uh, so that's all the adenine and thymine uh, done. Uh, now looking at um, guanine and cytosine, so G, C. Now, i got a way of remembering this, and it's the way I tell my students. Um, probably may not be as effective with um, uh, you that are listening now, but G, C, G -C can stand for Gower College, which is... Uh, the college that I teach at. Okay, so wherever there's a C, um, we can put uh, the G, which is there. Whenever there's a G, we can put the C. All right, so that would be the answer um, for that part B1. Right, biochemical analysis of a sample of DNA showed that 30% of the bases were guanine. Calculate the percentage of bases in the sample which would uh, be adenine, show your workings. <coughs> um, this is a question that um, is based on um, someone called uh, Chargaff and his experiments where he determined uh, the percentage of bases in DNA from a variety of organisms. Okay, So um, I'd like to just uh, take you through this uh, simple calculation uh, to get the answer for you. Okay, so in the question then, we're told that 30% um, of the bases were uh, guanine, okay, and uh, we're actually asked to calculate the percentage then of adenine, alright, so that's the question mark there. Well, using the base pairing rule, we know that guanine base pairs with cytosine, now, because they are always base paired together, it must mean that cytosine is also equal 
to 30%. Okay, so the total bases guanine and cytosine is equal to 60%. Okay, now all of the bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine, must all add up to 100%. Okay, so 60, sorry, 100, sorry, minus 60 will give us 40. Okay, so the remaining bases, adenine and thymine, must in total be 40%. Okay. So to get the percentages of adenine and thymine, it's a simple case of dividing 40 by 2, and that will give you 20. So we've got adenine is equal to 20, and we've got thymine, which is equal to 20. So 60 plus 20 plus 20 will give you 100. So the answer there... Um, for uh, adenine would be 20%. Okay, so I've just shown you <coughs> on my uh, little whiteboard there how to calculate the percentage uh, of um, adenine. Now, um, in this question, you do have to show your workings out, so you should write in something similar uh, to what I did uh, a moment ago. Uh, so I'll just write in the answer there, um, and the answer, of course, is 20%. Uh, okay, but please remember to show your workings out. Uh, you'd only get one mark for the answer, the other mark were for the uh, workings out. Okay, that's uh, that question done. I hope you found it of help.